Hi, first of all, but really making a video is such a big deal from our perspective. Um, I don't have a setup studio with lighting and all of that, but it still takes a lot of effort because you got to look half decent, you've got to remember points you want to make. It is a bit of a pain in the neck, so it's taken me a moment to gather my thoughts. I've been really busy lately and to get going and just gathering the energy to do it to begin with no matter how desperately you want to be productive and creative and be getting things out there just gathering the energy is one of the biggest obstacles but also finding the time to do it of course if you are on a very busy schedule which i have been on lately and so i do apologize that some of the things that i'm going to say might be a little bit mm, out of date by now well, I hope they're not too out of date for you. Yeah, the last video that I uploaded, I felt was very one-sided because it left a lot of points from that particular installment. There are a few things I want to say overall that might sit independent of each other, but with the last video, there were a couple of things. I didn't have the memory to recall them and the time i was really running out of time as you can imagine 54 minutes it's just far too long anyway and people don't even have the attention to be listening to you for more than 10 minutes i know that it was so difficult for me to focus when i used to do lectures in uni when i used to uh, listen to lectures so i had to record them i know that watching a video for fun is not the same as lectures but a lot of YouTubers will tell you that the attention span of people isn't to sit through the whole video, rather to just watch particular minutes of it. And I'm sure that happens even with the more intriguing and interesting content producers or presenters, I should say, like Chantel. I know that people want to know what's going on and keep up to date with her, but I'm pretty sure that even in her case, people... And especially lately with the streams that she has been presenting to the people. Yeah, definitely that would be an issue. People lose interest, lose patience and they just switch off. They press skip, skip, skip or just stop altogether. They just either thumbs down, leave a message and on the move to the next thing. I know that all of our attention is um, compromised these days because there's so many things going on in our lives, in our minds. It's really hard to give focus somewhere. And I know that I myself don't have the ability to sit down and watch particular YouTubers. Let's just stay on the topic about Chantel. I just can't. There are only a couple of people that I can really watch. And in general, even if it involves other subjects, really, there are not many YouTubers that I've got. What I mean, I mean, I've got quite a lot, but I don't regularly watch all of them. The ones I regularly watch are focused people whom I can cope with, who I enjoy. And yeah, so it's a real challenge presenting a big chunk of information and expecting people to be sit patiently through it and listen or watch or both. I certainly don't have the expectation. It is a bit disappointing to go through a lot of um, time in recording and then editing and then just it going to waste. But you know what? It is what it is. And people are born with a limited source of time. So you can't demand too much of that limited resource so uh yeah with Chantel, let's get back on track so yeah she continues to produce to present material that's both controversial and boring and all over the place you know it is all known fact that well among most of us who have watched even brief moments of her uploads that she is still using substances from the last time i did my upload until now she has announced quite some time ago i don't know was it about a week ago that she is addicted to cola people say you shouldn't be using certain words because when the screening process of videos goes on and if you're using trigger terms your uh video will not be pushed and promoted and suggested by the youtube system 
But I don't know how that works even because you know what? There are educational videos on particular subjects and they can't refrain from using those words. Those videos are very important that they are available to people for help, for uh, information. And in general, they should be there. They cannot be just disqualified for of the validity because they're using particular words. What is this stupid super sensitive sort of era that we're heading towards where you can't even breach a subject because it's triggering someone you've got to be sensitive not to hurt people's feelings you've got to be careful not to be encouraging people to engage in particular behaviors but you certainly cannot cannot just forbid people from discussing subjects that are very valid very real and very relevant in our everyday lives especially in contemporary society Chantel announced to the world that she is addicted to coca we don't know if she's doing that to create drama create currency get views going because we can see in her subscriptions not the paid ones the ones for free on her overall channel she was under eighty-seven thousand recently i think it was 86.7 last time that i checked i think it was yesterday she was on 87.1 or 87.2 thousand viewers. People have suggested that not everybody is a regular viewer, but nevertheless, the numbers are going up. They're not going down. So something is creating interest in her. People say, yes, they want to watch train wrecks. Chantel comes along and says it takes a train wreck to be um, interested in an and another train wreck or dramatic content channel so in other words she's trying to say you think that i've got my life out of order but you guys who watch me have also got your life out of order and that's very insulting in itself because it is one thing watching her and another thing if you are tabloid in your reaction and attack her and bully her and use very dirty tactics and this is what something that i wanted to address in my last uh, upload but i didn't have the time or the space to do so people who claim chantelle is absolutely whoop whoop loony and then they end up stalking chantelle themselves they, they track her down they're in her property managers they try to get her into trouble so that she will lose the apartment she's living in. They send the police over there. I know that they're not sending the police for intervention to help her. They're doing it to cause struggles to her life, to make her life difficult. And to me, that is very unethical and effed up. Because just because you don't like someone, it doesn't mean you're going to make your, their life an absolute misery. Even what I'm doing right now, which is criticizing her, could be having a very negative impact on her. Not that she'll watch me, a small time channel, but you know what I'm saying. Other people who are creating videos, definitely, who have got a bigger viewership and she knows of them, that definitely is triggering a very negative impact in her psyche and she's already pretty screwed up as it is uh in other words she's i don't mean it as in she's a lost cause how can you claim that Chantelle is the one who's loony and then you're the one who is stalking every aspect of her life from her property managers to contacting dom to doxing dom to following her in the places that she goes and turning out to wanting to track down people from her life her family and in recent talk they were even saying that they wanted to find out that guy she apparently had an encounter with an intimate encounter of you know what i mean with and um just uh go after him and ask him things and he can't do that even if you're not doing it with the intention of harming someone you can't publicize someone's details this guy had a brief thing with her for a night or two times whatever it was i think it was one night he wasn't totally homeless she said that he was a person who used to park himself and sleep on people's um, lounges friends who would allow him to do that he wasn't completely sleeping on the streets and she had a one-nighter with her i don't think this guy deserves to be discovered and published all over his the internet his information to become readily available to everyone 
so that people know exactly who he is, what he looks like, where he lives, where he spends his days. I don't think this guy deserves all that just because he spent a night or a few brief moments with Chantel. You know, we all make wrong decisions in our life, wrong choices, but that doesn't mean that a few brief moments with a person should land you in such hot water where all of a sudden you've got unwanted attention and people are hunting you down to record you and plaster your face all over the internet. I just think that people need to take a step back. So whether you're doing it with very mean intentions of messing Chantel's life up, like I said, making her lose her apartment, or whether um, you're doing it with the intention of good fun in mind and let's have a laugh, still, it's pretty screwed up if you're going to do stuff and then turn around and say, oh, but she docks Dom. But look, at this activity, this is worse, this is harassment, this is destroying the lives of innocent people because once that poor guy who's already got adversities in his life and is making his living by selling um, bits and pieces, CDs, whatever it is he sells for a living out of a cart, I don't know what he does it, out of a bag, I have no idea, it doesn't matter. The point is that he does not deserve to be chased and hounded and I really disagree with tabloid style websites that publish the information of somebody it doesn't matter what Chantel is up to whether she's using whether she's crying crocodile tears to get people's attentions whether she's fabricating information to get traffic and to make money and to gain popularity or to get attention it does not matter she still does not deserve to be losing her apartment to be living in the street i know she's done horrible things i'm super pissed off with her still about the way she treats pete's about the way she speaks to people about the way she has spoken about her cats i mean the other day she was saying oh and sam look at him what was sam doing he was just lying down on the floor the poor thing just kicking his feet around and she said he's a stupid f he says that about an innocent cat who is just playing, minding his own business. Um, constantly, you stupid idiots, she's saying to them, uh, it's not cute, it is not funny, I have addressed this issue before and I will address it again. Uh, she's still doing it. You know, there are lots of things that Chantel engages in. She discusses males, anatomy, people that she's met on Tinder and stuff, and she laughs at how small their particular parts are. She laughs at people's looks, and then she says, you are shaming me when people are just pointing out things that are wrong in her behavior. Like, for example, you know, um, driving under the influence or using to begin with, because she didn't start using uh, substances because she was going through incredible tragic things in her life and she couldn't cope anymore and she needed something to numb out the pain so she started self-medicating for example as i've said in previous uploads losing a child losing um, a loved one um, breaking up from someone she really loved and she couldn't handle it whom she had a long relationship with losing her job and not knowing what her future would hold just life altering events even that's not enough reason for you to go off and start taking drugs than losing the job certainly losing a child or a loved one i can understand where you feel lost and um, every desire to go on living has just left your body and your mind i understand that but Chantel didn't go through any of that it wasn't even a very complex relationship she was involved with involved in with someone who was using and as a result she ended up using as well it was somebody she met for the very first time who had lined up a whole array of substances for her she engaged in them she indulged without even knowing what these things contained in them what they were mixed with what they were laced with who this person who was presenting these things to her was what his intentions were was he a psychopath who wanted to torture her or kill her or leave her brain dead or she just yeah no worries let's take it of course any user 
who starts on that path, they don't know what they're going to get from a dealer at any given time or point. But you don't rock up to a stranger's house to have a good time and get jiggy with it and then you say ah hey, yeah sure i'll do a line of this i'll pop some of that and i'll smoke some crack or meth while i'm at it that's just ridiculous so she has no excuse and then she gets angry and she goes what so it's my fault addiction is my fault it, yes it is it is Chantel. it is your fault because your child didn't die and you, you didn't become addicted two substances because of that because of trying to cope with the pain you started using to impress a stranger and to party and to think that you're cool to to project to him that you're cool and to get him to be interested in you to to have a wild time you know you do those things when you're a young person when you're 20 25 and you think you're invincible that's why the famous club 27 where a lot of people drop dead from the celebrity um group at that age because they think they're invincible and they don't they think honestly i went through that stage too and i actually almost died at exactly that age i think i was 26 because i did stupid things and i remember one time i almost copped it like amy winehouse uh, to die from alcohol poisoning i became so sick i ended up in hospital and they did all sorts of things to me to uh, keep me alive because i was a skinny little thing then i was obsessed with being slim i was slim as it was but i was obsessed with skinniness and so i embarked on an eating disorder to help me become even slimmer i was just completely obsessed with being with being as little as possible and yeah so my body couldn't cope with too much things i mean imagine trying to pump a whole bottle of spirits through my system or close to it i i yeah my liver couldn't metabolize all that it was just nuts so lucky the people i was with had the good sense to see that i went to hospital um they yeah to made sure i was hospitalized and i was saved otherwise i would have passed away from alcohol poisoning like amy winehouse which brings me to the next point i know different countries and different ju jurisdictions have different laws but chantelle is saying that the police said to her oh you know yeah as long as it's in your home you can do whatever we like and we can't stop you no the police didn't catch her doing it if they had known that she was in possession even in her own house she can be arrested and charged i don't know what the full deal is in canada but i know in the uk when a video circulated of amy winehouse smoking crack that um or was it meth i can't even remember yeah the the police came and arrested her the only thing is they had no evidence that she was doing it like they couldn't find the substance in her possession so eventually they had to let her go without charging her because they had the video but they needed evidence of the actual substance so no you can't do whatever you like in my country um in the state that i mean you can't even possess i don't think you can possess and smoke weed so um Oh no, hang on. Here I think you can um, a little bit for personal use. But in other states, it carries in Australia um, an offence, a charge. And I don't know if you can be even jailed over it. But it is a serious thing. So please don't go around saying that the police said there's nothing you they can do if you're in possession of illegal substances in your own home because that's bs i've seen a lot of documentaries not in canada but in the us where the police raid homes and they're looking for substances and even if they find a small amount that the person is using they arrest them and they charge them and all sorts of things so don't give us that crap Chantel. i mean the good thing with her is that she did admit when she said that mushrooms are uh, legal in canada and somebody pointed out you misinformed the public and said that and that she said i'm sorry i was ignorant on the subject and um it doesn't mean i have to know everything so yeah she's not a reliable accurate source of information but what i'm saying is that 
she's making out as if it's not a big deal what she's doing as far as the legality side of thing is as far as breaking the law is concerned i mean she has admitted that it's a wrong thing for her body and she needs to quit but you know it is illegal and it does carry severe penalties you can be in deep shit chantelle so don't don't try to dumb it down as if it's not something important the thing that people are most angry about and criticize you for they're not shaming you Sh telling someone they're doing something wrong is not the same as shaming shaming is making fun of someone for um doing certain things like for example saying ha 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 you like dom and he hasn't got any teeth ha 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 that is shaming yes definitely or you are morbidly obese ha 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 that is shaming but telling you that what you're doing is wrong and irresponsible and disgusting that's not shaming so she hasn't got the right to get pissed at people and say oh if you're shaming me as soon as somebody steps forward and says what you're doing is wrong it's irresponsible if you're going to shame me, I'm going to block you and that's, the, that's all there is to it. And what she doesn't also realize is that when you come across as so defensive, which I know it is difficult to, it's impossible to be neutral and um, not to get angry or rattled. But when you come across like that, people, it gives fuel to people to be more angry at you, to dislike you and to attack you because... You might think that you have every right to defend yourself, but it doesn't look good. And yes, it's true. She also is a person who's constantly going through that victim mentality like other people have raised. Definitely, that is the case with her. It's always all oh, poor me or everyone attacks me. Everybody dislikes me. Yes, there are people who go over the top with her, who freak out even over the slightest little thing. Like I said, they're putting her under a microscope about how many boxes she's got stacked in her home. And even if her home is dirty, yes, the food rotting was far too much. But even if the house was accumulating, you know, some dust on its um, appliances or whatever nobody has the right to judge someone over that because people do go through depression and don't have the energy to do things and you might say well how does she have the energy to do particular things and not others well that's how depression works you one day might have enough excitement and energy to get up and go and do things and the other day you might not and the day that you are excited you might not want to spend it doing housework you might want to go and go for a bike ride or whatever it definitely seems like she's got a, a personality or a mental kind of disorder because she describes phases where she gets really excited and she wants to do all this stuff that she's planned and everything she comes up with ideas and then she crashes and she loses the interest and she thinks well what's the point I can relate to that because I've been through that. That definitely is depression or it could be bipolar disorder or some other clinical kind of um, condition that she hasn't been diagnosed with. But definitely to me, it sounds if you're up there and then you crash, there is something that is at play. And I don't know if it's just her hormones. And it doesn't help the fact that she, I've mentioned this before, she has a lot of meat, she has a lot of dairy, which is super pumped with hormones. Animals are, are super pumped with hormones to grow fast so they can slaughter them quicker to meet the demand of the almost 8 billion people um, that are populating the earth. Is it 8, 8 billion? Oh, am I mistaken? Well, it's almost 3 billion more than maximum capacity of what the earth can sustain. And we are 3 billion above it. The last time I checked, 2.8 to be exact, which was about a few months ago. Um, So, yeah, of course, it's not going to be sustainable to be producing animals so quickly to meet the demand, the increasing demand, because in earlier years, people were not consuming as much dairy and, and meat. And now they're pumping them with super um, hormones to make them go really grow really fast so they can reach the plate faster. And all these things are upsetting her hormones, which also have an effect on whether she's feeling good or bad, happy or sad. So I've already, if, she, if you've already, she's predisposed to bipolar disorder or 
depression and she is disturbing her hormones by introducing all these extra hormones and chemicals yeah that's gonna have a very detrimental effect on her mental wellness and on top of that the substances using substances can lead to psychosis can lead to so many conditions and on top of that you go high high and then you crash and then you get more depressed than ever i don't believe this thing in um cannabis helping her yes there might be conditions that cannabis helps in but there are others that it makes things worse so while it mellows her out it will make her more depressed eventually because it is a depressant and uh, also it can have effects that like causing psychosis to people who are predisposed especially in a particular way so yet yeah, she needs to be very careful with that let alone introducing other things in her system people were saying that when she went on that um trip to uh, montreal the other day that um montreal sorry i don't know where she I, I don't pay attention to a lot of the stuff because it goes over me and if even if i'm joining in a live to listen to someone else's stream uh who are commenting on chantelle sometimes i'm still doing other things in the background so yeah i think that's where she went anyway they were saying that she probably went to score and that she hasn't quit like she's saying she's trying to do She's saying that she's trying to give up the coca and she's doing really well and she's using edibles to help her or whatever. But people were suggesting and they believe that she drove one and a half hours from where she lives to score. And I honestly don't doubt it for a moment that she would have possibly done that, most probably did that. But I don't think she was high on coca while she was driving because she had the munchies and she was eating. And as far as I know, coca does not have the effect. You know, there was that common joke going around in the 90s that models are on the diet of coca and popcorn or coca and diet soft drinks because they don't want to gain any weight um so yeah i don't know what was going on there definitely she was too chirpy for a person to be completely off the coca and anything and because if you've become addicted like she admitted she has you crash you get fidgety as she said shaky unhappy sad and the previous day before that we saw her in a stream where she was totally sad so definitely she was on something but I don't know if it was coca while she was driving. It might have been Molly. It might have been um, meth. I don't know. But I think even with meth, doesn't that suppress your appetite? And because, you know, a, a video that I've watched recently also said that you become skeletal within a couple of months. So all that weight that Chantal has dropped, if she was a regular weight person, she would have been skeletal by now. And that's within a couple of months of use. I don't think it's just coca by itself. Definitely you lose weight with coca. But I do think that I've said that before and I will maintain my opinion that when things get too expensive for her, she will downgrade from the coca to meth because it's cheaper you can smoke it you can snort it you can inject it and so she probably smokes it she might even snort it i don't know but definitely i think that's what she does i think she does a mixture of things and maybe she does also a bit of molly or a bit of the monkey dust i don't know my observations are that her skin is very dry and the texture quite horrible even though she has pointed out that she has suffered from rosacea before it's beyond rosacea and dryness at this point it looks like it's not as healthy as what it used to be i try to take a still out of the video and it's not very clear but you will see in the insert of her smoking weed that i will use in a moment later on that it is evident her skin is suffering which I do believe is the side effect of meth. I honestly do think that part of the mess in her life right now and part of the reason as to why she has to move out of the property, it doesn't have to do with um, 
you know, just people saying that she's dirty and she stinks. I honestly do think she's because she's drawing negative attention to the building and that's compromising the reputation of the property, the security of the people living there. And also because people may have suggested that she invites a bad visitors there who deal in drugs and all sorts of things. That all has to do with how the other residents feel and so maybe that's part of the reason as to why the property management said to her yeah i think you're gonna have to move out and and since we're on this talk about people causing issues to her by uh, informing the property management about certain of her activity and behavior in illicit drugs and all of that one thing that really also came to my attention, because I like to see both sides of, of the coin and I don't like to be unfair or unjust. One thing that I wanted to advise her is to not use materials and products that people are sending her. There's a very nice YouTuber I watch sometimes called Nick Don Pierre, and he tries all these treats that people send him from around the world. And that's all nice and dandy, but you know, for a guy like that who doesn't have any controversy involved with him, even with him, there might be someone who's psychotic or crazy or a psychopath or obsessed with him. And he might want to lie or she might want to cause something harm to him and i don't know infuse something it doesn't matter if something is in a packet or not people can still inject with a, a syringe i'm not being paranoid here in the shops in my city somebody had injected uh, poison in some kind of medication and people were dropping and getting sick and they had to recall when they found out all the products off the shelves because it became an issue another time somebody this is recently about like less than a year ago someone had put needles in bread and um uh, strawberries so that people would get sick and die so that those products had to be recalled so people will do anything if they're mentally imbalanced and they've got a vengeance they're on a vengeance spree and they want to cause harm to people so even with nick i commented underneath one of his videos nick you shouldn't be eating all that stuff because you don't know what's in it it could cause harm with you and please do not feed to your pets stuff that people from the internet send you even if they're pretending to be friends through that you've met through youtube through facebook or whatever else do not give to your pets stuff that arrives in the mail do not ingest stuff that arrives in, in the mail yourself even by people who claim to like you people can say anything people can use fake names but if they are imbalanced and they want to cause harm to you they will and there are many ways they can put uh, substances on something that you're going to use whether it's a a hairband or whatever because don't forget and or if it's cream for the face you're not ingesting it but anything that goes onto your skin gets absorbed into your bloodstream so chantelle she's got a lot of people who hate her a lot who are mentally unwell and um yeah the um, the sanity being compromised means that they could do anything and everything to her so a package arrives and that doesn't have a name on it but even if it did like i said i can't emphasize it enough it could be a fake name so she's using the makeup wipes on her face and you don't know what's in them that could cause her to get sick or die even if people are that imbalanced they're capable of anything and everything which brings me to the other point the sanitary napkins whoever sent chantelle those menstrual pads um is a real pos honestly because you can't make fun of someone for getting sick and having to resort to a hysterectomy or some kind of surgery to make themselves better that is sad and absolutely disgusting that somebody would make fun of somebody who has lost the reproductive system and go ha ha he, here's some menstrual pads because guess what you don't have menstruation anymore and you can't produce children that is pretty up honestly i got so angry when i heard that story relayed by uh Chantel and Pete's and Pete's got mad himself absolutely he has every right to be um, angry over something like that poor old Pete's 
no matter what goes on, no matter what she says about him, he will still defend her and stick up for her. And the poor thing, we did see him at one stage where he was getting a little bit, I think, let down. You know, when she was going through that phase of, I'm going to move out and maybe mm, I'm going to go somewhere to a house where Pete's can go in the basement and all that sort of stuff. And I remember there was one time where uh, dinner arrived, they had ordered dinner and... Pete took his stuff and went upstairs and she scrunched up her face and I honestly felt like slapping her and uh, she said oh you're going upstairs are you and she said oh and then after that she thought about it she said oh maybe he's not comfortable eating here because he thinks that he is not welcome to be with me on my stream and it oh do you think so why don't you think that Chantel yeah, okay, so no matter what she does, she thinks that Pete is always going to be the same. He's not going to get affected. He has no feelings. I feel like saying, girl, what do you, I feel like honestly writing it underneath her videos, probably my comment will be blocked immediately anyway. But um, to say, what do you think, Chantel, that you're going to treat people and talk about people however the hell you want, and they're not going to be upset or eventually react to it even Pete who's always there for you he's still got his limits because he's still a living being and as easy going as he is he will reach a point where enough is enough well anyway and then um there was another incident which I felt like saying good on you Pete good absolutely on you where she was going do you like my earrings and he goes yeah they're okay um, and she said, you didn't even F and look at them. And she was so fuming. And I thought, you've just been talking about moving out and the, putting the guy in a basement if you do move together, but that you don't want him to be part of your life and that he's pissing you off and you want to be alone and you don't even want the cats in the way because... Because all you want to do is apply your makeup and just be in the moment and, you know, the cats are disturbing you by jumping on the table and all sorts of things. Pete turned around and said to her, at 2.30am, you feel like putting makeup? You're not even going anywhere. Why would you feel that? And she said, well, I do. I feel like putting on makeup. But he said, but you're going to go to bed in a moment. So in other words, how can Sam be disturbing you by wanting to jump on your lap and on the counter because you want to put makeup when you're going to go to sleep? It doesn't even make sense that you want to put makeup at 2.30am. The reasoning that she chooses as to why Pete the animals and pets and people are disturbing her. I remember she even said, oh, he's terrorizing me. He came out of the room all cocky and... What the hell? The cat came out of the room all cocky and that terrorized you and intimidated you but anyway so in this particular um thing what she's going to pete well what do you think of my earrings and he didn't look and she she just came down hard on him and she said you didn't have to look and he should have if it was anyone else he should have walked in slapped her and said you want me to move out of the apartment so you can be by yourself even though the apartment is in my own name or you want to move somewhere else where I don't go with you even though I was there for you and got to your place and put it under my name when you broke up with BB and now you want me out of your life I was there every time you called for me to pay attention to you to caress your every need to dress your wounds to play Mario Kart with you whatever else and now you don't want me as part of your life and you have the audacity after you've been bad mouthing me for a whole week and saying that you know i'm dependent on you and when in fact it's the other way around and that i should grow up and grow some balls and therefore we should go separate ways because it will be beneficial to me and now you've got the audacity for me to turn around in the same breath that you've said that and notice your earrings and say oh yeah they're so pretty anyway he's a guy guys don't even pay attention to that really will there be the odd exception that men will pay attention to detail and she said that's the problem with all your men you should grab your girlfriend and just kiss her passionately and look at her and tell her she's beautiful and Pete's turned around and said but you're not my girlfriend and then she just kept saying yeah I know but you know what uh it is every man's 
job to give the girlfriends and wives compliments and tell them how beautiful they are and this and this and that you should all listen because you're all the same and she just kept carrying on and Pete stepped up this time and I thought good on you Pete good on you and he said yeah, well, like I said, it's not my job. I'm not your boyfriend. And he walked off. I thought that was the best. So even Pete says his limits. Bless him. But now that she's come back with the sob story, I'm addicted. Oh, my God, please help me. Of course, Pete will have taken pity on her. And despite the fact that the previous week she was saying that she didn't want him a part of her life and she just wanted to be on her own and probably wanted to move in with Dom or someone else he's now back to feeling sorry for her I definitely do think that she's still seeing Dom because she would be on the floor in tears rolling over in emotional pain if Dom had told her that he doesn't want to see her anymore we saw her before being devastated and sad and lying down on her pillow and sighing and not wanting to do anything and saying oh I wish he was here. I want to kiss him. I wish I could just have sex with him right now. And not all sorts of crap and being depressed and then stuffing her face with food to fill that void. Well, she couldn't have gone from that to being okay with separating with Dom and not even talking about it. She's still not discussing him, which means he's still forbidden her from doing that, which means his opinion of her is still important to her because if they had broken up he didn't want to see her nothing to do with her she would be on a vengeance we know that she gets like that and she would have said all sorts of things about him so the fact that she's not talking about him to me indicates that she's still seeing him although she might not be spending great chunks of times with him however i do think the last weekend they were together because she was missing in action for two days and didn't film so definitely she's still seeing dom and she will not have a bar of it. It's not his fault, her addiction to substances, even though pretty much he's the one who introduced her to them and her being of such weak mental state. Honestly, she that woman cannot endure the slightest pain. She was plucking her eyebrows and she's like, oh, I'm freaking out. And I'm thinking, are you serious? You're a whim, woman. As women, we go through extreme physical pains that time of the month, giving birth, all sorts of stuff. Our pain threshold sometimes can be bigger than men's. And she can't cope with the slightest amount of pain, with the slightest amount of emotional upset, with the slightest amount of mental. She is, her endurance is zero, absolutely zero, zero tolerance. So you can't take it out of my mind that she's still seeing Dom because even though she's got her addiction to deal with, it doesn't matter. That's still not good enough reason for her not to be freaking out of Dom riding her off we have seen this lady go through all sorts of things. She, I couldn't understand the streams where she would come on and F would be every second word. I use the F word. I use cuss words, but not every second word. And we have seen on particular streams. We don't know. She doesn't do that all the time, but there were particular days where she would go almost into this persona where she'll be effing this and effing that. Like, for example, she'll say, I'm going to the effing bathroom because, you know, my effing toothbrush, I don't even know where it is and I have to find it. And the effing toothpaste that's missing too. So every second word was F this, F that, F this. She's a very strange person. I don't. I, I don't know what to say with her. We have seen her go through some really strange phases. You think that the part where she was screaming, Pete, there's someone trying to break into my room when Sam was making noises at her door and her going, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 and running for Pete's, you know, and grabbing the back scratcher. You think that was weird while she was tripping. We have seen her do a lot weirder stuff over time and she's almost like she's changing persona all the time. Uh, not not characters, she, you, not multiple personalities, but we don't know what phase we're going to see her in on the particular day and what she's going to be doing. She justifies things by saying, oh, you know, mushrooms are absolutely okay because they're therapeutic and they help with anxiety and um, depression. That's BS, Chantel, because you know what? They use methamphetamines to um, treat children with ADD. And I know a guy who actually 
during his childhood was given methamphetamines for that reason and they worsen things but anyway besides that that doesn't change the fact that methamphetamines are still an illegal drug which fucks you up and which can lead to your death and and kills brain cells and all sorts of things so please do not try to justify why you're doing an illegal substances by saying oh yes but they have a therapeutic effect so is morphine used for treating pain but if you use it on a daily basis, it's still very detrimental and dangerous and addictive and can lead to your death for me the worst yet admission and face that we've seen her in is when she said or oh, worst comes to worst if my youtube doesn't go well and i lose all my uh, viewers i'm just gonna starfish lift my leg and get paid for it as a hooker i mean she even said that she even said that she will do sex work so she can earn her living really what else can we expect from this woman she's run over innocent animals while under the influence she said that she's gonna hook she said that she's addicted on coca she has been involved with a person who is a playboy uses women financially is a drug a heavy drug addict had unprotected activity with him because even if she says oh but i used rubber with him guess what she admitted to having oral with him and that does not protect you from stds so here is somebody who is a user and uses the hygiene is the last thing on the mind and the re perception of reality is distorted he sleeps around with a lot of women he probably has unprotected activity with a lot of women and then you come along and engage with him in unprotected activity well this lady there is nothing that she's left undone and unsaid she said she's going to dump her own animals she's going to dump her own roommate who has been her best friend and there for her most difficult moments in her life we have seen everything and anything from it the only thing we haven't seen is her and remains now god forbid is to knock over a pedestrian to run over a human but with her i wouldn't put it past her that is coming in due time as well i remember one thing that really put me off the other night i think it was last week when she was totally tripping on something whatever the heck it was she was high and she was saying oh those of you who have cheese go and melt it in the microwave now and put ketchup on it with salt and pepper and then i don't know what sam did him out and she said stop it sam you're ruining my moment the poor cat just meowed or was playing with something and he was ruining her moment because he he was doing his own thing he was living he was existing can you believe that and then she turned around i think it was in the same stream i can't remember and she said to pete's pete's can you give sam a hug he needs it and he wants some affection right now so pete's goes to hug the cat and she goes he loves me more than you and pete said of course he does i mean you're his adoptive parent right and finally one of the points that i want to make while i remember it is that um she you know we've caught him in multiple lies a lot of times but one of the lies that i want to point out is that the night she confessed to being addicted to coca she said that she was only using it um, and been addicted to it for a month and that she had spent one thousand dollars yet in a most recent uh, stream she said that she was using it for two months which is as long as she's known dom and that she was addicted to it for that long and that she spent about two thousand dollars on it which is right and which is wrong completely it's a big difference it's double as much it's not a small discrepancy it's double the amount and after she's gone on a full confession about her addictions and everything she turns around and says to the people i'm not gonna give you a complete account of what i do with my day when i contact counselors and all of that stuff well you know what uh chantel you can't come online and drop a bomb like i'm addicted to coca please help me i'm so alone and then when people want to know if you're taking the right steps to get out of it you get angry with them and attack them and say that it's my business not yours and i don't have to give you a full account of my day of my 
appointments or whether I've contacted counseling services. Guess what? You opened your life, that part of your life to the public, then you're going to have to be pretty transparent and talk to the people about what it is you're doing to overcome your addiction because there are a lot of people who are still supporting you, giving you money, and the fanatics are always going to be there regardless, but people want to know how you're doing. You can't just write them out of, lock them out of your life after you have invited them in, all of a sudden just push them away. It's been a bit all over the place. Whenever I go to make videos, that's when noises go around my house. That's when traffic goes by. That's when things drop. That's when a million things happen. The rest of the time, it's quiet as anything. I'll leave it at that. I'm so sorry. It's a bit um incoherent and abstract and i don't like my tone of voice i think i'm gonna from now on when i'm gonna do recordings i'm gonna have to be in a room where there are no distractions and yeah as little noise as possible just so i can put things together in a more coherent and not so abstract way and there can be a more natural flow and I can speak in a tone that I feel more, most comfortable with because today I do feel that I'm a little bit, um, my voice is a little bit rough and maybe not as pleasant to listen to. I don't know, honestly, and I've said it before, but I don't know if I'm going to be producing any more videos on Chantel because what else is there? What else could there possibly be to discuss with Chantel? She said and done everything and we've seen everything so far and I will be doing other things. I want to share um, some other things that are not related to Foodie Beauty in in videos that are going to be coming up. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah. There were a lot of interruptions where I was filming, surprise, surprise, sounds and things going on. So please bear with me and yeah, please put up with my all over the place kind of um, subject breaching when it comes to Chantel. Thank you guys. Yes, there were a couple of things that I omitted from including in my recording thus far the other day. Were, and in any case, there were more developments that happened. Uh, yeah, uh, people are really speculating all sorts of things about Foodie Beauty. They're wondering if she's seeing someone else. They're wondering if she is uh, transporting merch for uh, Dom or one of those guys. They're wondering all sorts of things. And of course, you can't say with certainty. Nobody ever knows what is in the soul of a person, no matter how simple the particular mind is. You really can't assume to know everything as predictable a lot of the times as human beings are. What surprised me is that really this lady has absolutely no intentions of tuning down the growth factor. She was saying to the crowd that was watching her the other day, something, something, I don't care if that's a joke or not, by the way, I could always sell my farts for merch. Yeah, bottle it and sell it, Chantel. I bet you anything with the kind of people who are following her fanatically, they would totally okay even that. I mean, they've okayed everything else she has said. Even her decision in saying if things go bad, I can always turn to hooking. No matter what this lady comes up with, it's never going to act as a shock factor to her crowd because they are people who need to belong somewhere. And in general, humans need to belong in a group to feel affiliated. That's why they often gang up on weaker people in school, in high school especially, and even in the workplace. And I've never been an affiliate of any human being because humans have got a lot of darkness in the soul. They're full of gross factor and evil and generally speaking they end up pissing me off in the end i'm a very tough judge including for myself if i do something wrong and i've done plenty of wrong things don't worry in my life i come down really harshly on myself but i also do on other people and for this precise thing i know the darkness and the level of scumminess in the human soul 
I just honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't affiliate with myself, with any human being. As I said, so far, anybody that I sort of gave the benefit of the doubt ended up really letting me down in a very big way. Not in minor things. Like, for example, one day they had food stuck in their teeth or they looked gross. For me, I pay a lot more attention to the inner side of a human. And at the end of the day, people did major bad things to really discourage me and to make me come to the conclusion that no matter what you think and who you think is loyal to you, there will come a day that they will let you down because at the end of the day, we are all alone and nobody has got your back except yourself. You can be your own worst enemy, but you can also be your best friend. And if I could look back on my life now and have regrets, definitely the way I handle certain situations. I don't like hurting people, even though humans have really put me off and I have nothing more to give to them emotionally. I really don't. But I still do regret certain things that I have said over time to others to hurt them during moments where I felt they were trying to hurt me. So I really do regret that in the end of the day because I have to live with it. And quite honestly, I'm I'm quite sad about having gone there. But like I said, I don't have anything to offer to human beings from now on. I know that I don't want any relationships with anybody. I don't believe in friends and best friends and all of that. That is BS. There will come a day when your own best friend will do something to hurt you or turn against you. And if you don't believe me, you will come to know this much later on in life. Life really equips you with a lot of experience. And my experience tells me that no one is to be affiliated with but at the same time, I'm not afraid to travel solo, to stand against any man and his army if there is something that I really believe in, something which I think is right. And that's why I don't want to associate myself with other YouTubers, even if that means that it would do me good and I would gain popularity. I'm happy just having 30 or 100 views. That's fine as long as I maintain my object objectivity my freedom and i'm not selling out what i believe in now i don't expect to agree with everything on other people but there are severe things that others are putting me off for i do like life of a free spirit for the way that she presents things and she tries to keep the ethics side of it in mind what is right and what isn't she's against publicizing and doxing people i take my hat off to her honestly life of a free spirit i think out of all the people i've watched you are the one who has kept a good level of ethics there as far as not wanting to harm others i really believe in that and i also acknowledge french fried girl saying that she doesn't wish anything bad to happen to Chantal the other day me too i really don't despite what she does says or whatever and the other day she even gave the bird to i don't know why they use that expression but the other day she flicked her middle finger to somebody and somebody called joe bye joe see you later don't let the bees and hit you on the ass on the way out see ya see ya joe sayonara sucker oops it wasn't the joe it wasn't karate joe but yeah just my advice to her is look your life is all over the place and who isn't right, but you really need to stop acting so defensively and aggressively and attacking people, no matter what they say or do. You see, I know we're all different, but you see Hungry Fat Chick, a lot of people do love her truly from their heart, and I do too, because she comes across as a very sweet person who doesn't wish evil or ill upon anybody. She doesn't engage in the negative talk that people live under her videos. And trust me, they live some very horrible things relating to death and all sorts. But she's a kind person. And for me, that's somebody that we should all aspire to be like. It doesn't matter what she does in her personal life. That's her business. But as far as the way she conducts herself against others, opposite others, she's got her head in all the right places. And she's a very nice person. So I don't know. I mean, 
one thing that really grossed me the other day in Chantal's videos as well was when uh, Pete said, ooh, you know, like the back scratcher, because he took it out and he goes, I still can't believe like you kind of ate from it. I, I, I must say I am on the side of the people for thinking that it's gross and making fun of you for eating out of it. And she said, so what? It's my own dead skin cells and they don't taste like anything. The point, Chantel, is not what they taste like, but what they've got on there. And bacteria feeds on dead skin cells. I don't know. I'm just so confused because Chantel is quite mean towards others sometimes, but she hears a lot of suppose. And, um, you know, even people who are YouTubers are very mean themselves. I've seen them laugh at her. I've seen them do little um, emojis of her or little whatever you want to call them. Um, thumbnails of Chantelle coming out of a rubbish bin. And I don't know if that's referenced because she used to, when she used to apparently dumpster dive. But yeah, whatever. It's just not kind. You know, no matter what somebody does, if they're completely stooped in lies, and, and she does, she lies a lot, and then she gets upset and she says, what? I don't understand why. You know, don't forget, she's denying that she's doing certain things now, but she was also very vehemently denying that she was using substances until she finally admitted to it. And she would be saying, you're making up stuff. I'm not using anything else except edibles. What? Whatever. Da, 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 da. So, you know, who believes it really? But to actually reach the level that certain YouTubers have, I find it really horrible. And even some, uh, viewers themselves i am not free of guilt when it comes to coming down hard on her but not to the degree that certain people do wishing harm upon her wanting to dox particular people from her life they've got enough of their own adversities and shit going on you should just leave people alone and even chantelle you should not contact her property managers her relatives the man she's sleeping with and whoever else just let her be she's a lost and confused soul you can judge her on the way she treats others on certain things that she does um i do believe that she actually got hooked on substances just to please dom definitely i will you know because frenchie says that i don't think she did it you know to for anybody she just did it because she was having a good time yes she was but i honestly do think that she wanted to be cool because even the other day she was bum sucking with the cigarettes that's what we our urban dictionary calls it in australia which means she wasn't really inhaling cigarettes and i'm glad that she wasn't but why would you just take out a cigarette and start puffing on it if you're not doing it for image to come across as cool as being the bad girl because she said sometimes I get in my bad girl mode and she just wants to say, hey, look, I'm bad sometimes. I'm cool. I'm with it. You know, I've got it going on and I'm defiant to everything, including my own health. Um, yes, yeah, stuff you, what was she saying? There was a word she was using, suck on it or yeah. I don't know. She's just, why? Why, Chantel? Why? You know, and, um, I smoke cigarettes once in a while, but I got to stop. I don't smoke every day. Just sucking on the cigarette very superficially, not taking it down and then letting it out. Don't you think you're coming across as a fool? rather than as a cool person, unless she's doing it for controversy, to get the tongues wagging and therefore more interest in her, more people to come and subscribe to her channel and become regular viewers and to push the algorithms up. I don't know, but whatever. I hope everybody finds peace in the life, whatever it is they're searching for, as long as it's not hurting others, animals, humans, nature, whoever, aliens and themselves. I really do wish peace finds you all. It is a difficult and challenging journey in this world. But, you know, it shouldn't be that difficult to not to want to hurt others and 
yourself included in that equation. Wow, and one thing that I did leave out and I don't want to omit is that Foodie Beauty Alami by saying one night when she was high um, about men who are abusive during intercourse, during personal moments. And she said, oh, not that it happened to me, but, you know, which was totally, you could see through it. You could, I could tell straight away that bloody what's his face, Dom, yeah, he would be one of the guys, the guys that those guys that who would do it. And she was saying, you know, they use very bad words to want you, but they don't really mean it. They're just saying it. Well, Chantel, if somebody's demeaning you as a female or as any individual, trust me, it's because they get turned on by demeaning you, which means they've got a lot of mental scrubs in their head and they're not nice people. So I just wish to goodness that she would recognize when things are not right and just take people for what they really are because until now you don't take it out of my head that she still has feelings for Dom and that's why she's not talking about him unless and I still think that she sees him sometimes or even if he's not seeing her she's hoping to get back with him and unless he threatened her and I wouldn't put it past him because he's that kind of douche that if she ever talks about him on her um, up streams or her uploads, she's going to be in deep beep and I believe that he would hurt her. I really would. So maybe she's scared and she decided to zip it. You know, being a great lover of tennis, I noticed the other day that Djokovic said one thing which absolutely resonated and rang bells of familiarity in me with my own upbringing we're both from cultures and parts of the world where at least when people of our age well he's younger than me but you know people of our age were brought up we were taught the tough way you got on with it you just didn't complain or whine or you weren't a weakling things were pretty tough in school when I was growing up in Europe it wasn't all pats on the back and everything. When I came to Australia, kids used to sit on the floor and they would put their feet on the teacher's lap so that the teacher would do the shoelace up. It seemed that there were less boundaries there. Whereas for me growing up in, in Greece, our teachers had our best interest in mind, but we had a lot of tough loving and we just got on with business. There wasn't such thing as a no or a can't do. Our teacher used to say to us, there is no such thing as can't do only I don't want to. And this is like in grade, what was it? Grade one? No, not grade one or two or three. They're about in primary school. So yeah, you just, your community expected you to get on with stuff, just bite your tongue, no matter how painful or stressful or whatever it was, and just get it done. And Chantelle has absolutely no endurance when it comes to that. I'm, I'm not trying to make fun of people who are weaker mentally, not at all. But in her case, from every side that you look at it, she just can't cope with the slightest amount of stress or pain, mental, emotional or physical. I just don't get it. Absolutely no discipline. So as you can gather, it has been more than a week in between videos and snippets that I've been adding. I'm just so sorry, guys. I couldn't do it all in the one go. I didn't have the patience all the time. I really had a lot of stuff on my plate over the last couple of weeks. And to be honest, I had enough of Fitty Beauty anyway. So all due respect, but this is the way it's going to have to go for now. Um, I'm kind of hoping, I know I said that a few episodes ago that this is going to be my last thing on foodie beauty because the ongoing bad manners are always going to be there and you know what can you do are you going to report on each video that she makes about what she did that was inappropriate as far as an etiquette and her attitude goes well I, I don't think that I would be able to to do that on an ongoing basis and it's not that interesting anyway plus I'm not a big scale youtuber like the other reaction channels are I don't consider myself a reaction channel not because I'm ashamed or anything but because initially that's not what I set out to do and that's not going to be the only focus of my recording however you know um, I don't think it's worth my time to pump and invest so much viewing and 
kind of commenting and critiquing of foodie beauties videos when there are other people who honestly have got the audience for that um i'm very grateful to the people who do come and watch but anyway we'll see how we go i just honestly hope that this is going to be the last one on foodie beauty and then we can move on to other things uh this lady always comes ahead and shocks us with new stuff just when we thought all has been said, all has been done. That goes without saying. I know like her most recent developments is that she wants to travel to Jamaica. And of course, I don't know for how long she will be doing it. If it's for a week, I totally understand it or two. But if she's going to abandon her animals to Pete's and then just travel around for a few months or six months or something, I think that's totally responsible. It's not pit's job to pick up her responsibilities and take care of them her animals are like um, children they are living beings they're not to be left behind just so we can go and enjoy ourselves and so we can have a good time i mean she was saying that she's not going there with her main motivation being guys but in previous recordings streamings i should say she would be saying oh the jamaican men they're so hot i can't wait to go there and have a good time and just a couple of episodes ago as far as her streaming uh when her live streaming when she said that she's getting anxious not only because she was twitchy about not having her powders but because she needed d she said i need d i miss it and i just have never seen anybody get anxious because they needed certain physical activity in their life we all react to things differently we forgot different priorities of needs but i certainly have not heard of anyone getting anxious because they needed a little bit of action in the bedroom and they weren't getting it so that needed to be attended to that's just kind of weird um but then again a lot of the stuff that she says and does i'm sure is for controversy and undoubtedly she's got that need anyway because she's a very needy person we've all established that uh yeah but like even when she was smoking weed on her what was the title of that sorry it was the most recent one about um eating nashville chicken streaming uh, where she yeah she was smoking weed and to me it seemed that she wasn't always totally inhaling or inhaling at all there were a couple of tokes she did where i think she took it down to some point but um yeah the rest of the time she was just very shallow inhaling and blowing it out which to me doesn't make sense why do you want to do that and waste such an expensive product by fake puffing or superficially appearing to be smoking it when you really are not i didn't so far i'm not the one who comes in here and says that if you go italy go greece and albania Traveling is healing, exactly. <clears throat> Candace Cruz, where is your sign? <sighs> what? <clears throat> 40, 33K a year to live in villages in Italy. It just totally doesn't make sense. I don't know if she's doing it to stir, like I said, the controversy earlier in the video. I don't know if she's doing it because she likes to get on people's nerves, therefore get the reaction channels and haters going and therefore cause more traffic to her channel. We have seen an increase in uh, subscriptions. I'm not talking about the paid subscriptions but the ones who actually just go on the channel and press subscribe and get notifications, those kind of viewers, that has been going up. So to me, it just seems that the interest in her and the tongues wagging about her have increased. And although she says that that annoys her, she likes the attention and the traffic that it generates because it increases her income. So I 
just don't understand why she gets so pissy and so hissy and she says even if you mention the word cheeseburgers i'm just gonna block you because i'm in a real bitchy mood today well chantelle it's not only one day that you're in a bitchy mood and it's not only because of the powder addiction we have seen you even long before that getting really edgy and really agitated with people and just snapping at them and at the beginning i used to think it's understandable because they're picking on you about your weight and i thought that that was a little bit too harsh but you know it's not about that i have come to realize it's about your saying one thing and then not keeping your word and when you knew all along you that you had no intention of keeping your word because yes some things you might get worked up and excited about like in the past when she said i'm going to buy all healthy food and just stick to it she gets on moments of highs and excitement and then that evaporates really fast that i believe but i believe there are other moments where she knows that she has no intention of embarking on a particular thing and seeing it through and to me that's very manipulative very strategically put together in order to influence people's opinions and actions and that is very cunning and scheming and that's what people got sick of that's what people got really pissy with and also not taking your health as seriously because if someone remember when they diagnosed the whole uh, fatty liver thing from one moment she was really really upset and and she was scared about her life and her well-being and she wanted to turn it around and then the next minute she was just eating constantly junk food i don't know how this woman survives honestly because i do feel like her body is not getting any nourishment i have raised this point before i'll raise it again i don't even know how she's alive today because if your cells are not receiving any healthy nutrients any healthy nourishment there is no way that people can survive any living beings can't survive i don't know how the poor animals in those horrible countries do it either where they are just thrown a piece of bread if they're lucky or a bowl of rice and they're expected to survive on that the body has needs nutrients that it totally needs to function and be alive on and if you deprive any living organism of those nutrients it will die because it will not be able to reproduce healthy cells that in turn uh, mean interpret into healthy organs and into all the systems that need to be up for the organism to remain alive so i don't know how this woman is still surviving and breathing nothing to do with the obesity nothing to do with a fatty liver or clogged up arteries just simply by lack of nourishment because all she tends to eat constantly is junk food and you can't as i've said before binge on food the one day and then starve yourself for the next two three days and just so you won't put on weight and expect to survive like that especially when you're binging on junk food not getting any nourishment and then you're starving your body for the next two three days your organs go into shock it's just not a healthy way to be dealing with that and definitely not a healthy thing for her hair which she wants to see growing back and restoring in general her health levels but all that aside she's very confused about standards and what is acceptable and what isn't um, she says that people are body shaming her when they say to her she's eating poorly or they are mental health shaming her when they say to her she needs health uh, help sorry or counseling or they are addiction shaming her somebody saying to you that you need to address your issues of addiction is not shaming you for it somebody saying to you that taking substances is bad for your body is not shaming you for them holding you accountable and shaming you are two entirely different things Chantel. and i don't think you understand the difference you're a very lost soul a very lost person where standards are concerned yes we all go through confusion during different stages of our life especially when we are stuck in a certain situation we can't see what's right and what's wrong i totally agree with that but you can't just keep on reacting and mistaking one thing for another and somebody telling you that you need support and therapy for your 
mental and emotional well-being and in over in order to be able to achieve certain goals like quitting your addictions such as substances and food is not shaming you it's just nobody can bring up anything because instantly for her is you are shaming me you are but what about you, Chantel? You shame people all the time and others have said that too. You shame them especially. I have seen one of the things that she likes to do is to go for somebody's age. Yet somebody brought it up in her live chat um, the other day, was it yesterday or today, in that Nashville chicken one, that 50 doesn't mean the end of life. And she repeated, yeah, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't. Yet you were shaming Miss Hussey and that other lady who had contacted you and harassed you for their age i mean you could have ad addressed the issue of the lady not being mature enough and acting like somebody who was you know in in grade school attacking another student or bullying yes that i understand if you're coming from that angle but to actually say shame on her for her age and shame on her because she's doing this for me, any age is okay to wear what you want, to be happy, to party, not to attack people. Yes, any age at all should not be acceptable for bullying somebody. It doesn't matter whether you're in high school or whether you're older. Yes, when you're older, you should have more logic. But you can't just say, oh, you are uh, 60, so therefore you're expected to be more kind and more observing of ethics. And if you're 40, you shouldn't be doing that because um, that's bullshit. By that stage of life, Chantel, you should have a level head on your shoulders and you should know what is right and what's wrong. You have attacked people for their appearances because you have said, you have said she looks worse than me or she looks fatter than me or whatever. So you're actually fat shaming people yourself and then you're saying oh no if someone else does it then i'm allowed to come along and address it address it yes but not replicate that behavior two wrongs don't make a right and yes we are all very guilty of having done that the other day i was somewhere and i was minding my own business i'm a very polite person my friend can vouch for that he when i called him after the incident occurred because i was upset he verified that i am beyond the joke too polite with people and the way that i treat others but anyway i was minding my own business and this woman i don't know where she came from but she looked like i'm sorry to say i'm not um picking on people who are of limited economic capabilities but she was reacting like very trashy low strata of society kind of person and she was attacking me and i didn't even know what she was going on about she was swearing at me and apparently me the pedestrian lugging a whole heap of heavy uh, grocery shopping got in her way and cut her off and she was they had a car. They hadn't gotten to the car yet, but she was claiming that I cut her off. And that was totally nonsensical because we were very far from each other. And I didn't cut her path off unless she was tripping on some kind of substance, fentanyl, meth. I don't know what it was. And she seemed to believe in her mind that I cut her off and that the distance was close and she was super paranoid. I don't know. But she totally attacked me. And because I had already received a number of rude behaviors from people i had reached my limits i've got them as well and i just snapped right back at her and basically told her where to go so i'm not 24 hours a day a very compliant and accepting person i've got my limits too i swear as well definitely but Chantelle seems to do it in a whole she needs, seems to bring things to a whole different level and that's what happens i suppose when you're live streaming and you can't cut things out but the way she behaves, sticks her fingers up, tells people to F off, tells this, tells that. It doesn't matter how angry you are. You should really think about before going on your live streams and calling people a-holes, calling people a-wipes simply because they are reacting to the way that you're behaving. Just for you, Shaggy. And since you're not paying 15 bucks... You can eat my ass and go away. How do you like that? <laughs> Bye, Minka. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. 
Look, today is my last day of membership. I will not be renewing. I haven't been a viewer fan for as long as for you anymore. You're arrogant. Oh, okay, Michelle Jolks. Well, since today's your last day, you can fuck off too. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Pathological. Okay. Bye, Michelle Jolks. Buy a skimpy two piece. No, I just, I honestly don't give a fuck who doesn't, if people don't like me, it's good. Whatever. <laughs> so, yes. I'm pathological. What did I do? Smoke weed? Because I did coke? Like, I don't understand people. Obviously, I'm fucking arrogant to people who are assholes. If you don't like it, well, yeah, then I guess just cancel your membership. Bye. <laughs> Chantel, the way that you're behaving is extremely disgusting. If you can't see that, if you don't understand it, then you're the one with with the issue of comprehension. She, until now, she goes, what? I don't get what I do wrong. What? For having an addiction? For smoking coke? Uh, sorry, for snorting coke? For um, doing these? For experimenting with substances? Dude, you're always reacting in that way. But obviously, if I, who am a pretty I consider myself um, accepting and forgiving person and I reach the levels from being your viewer of just not being able to take it anymore and creating my own videos that address your issues. Imagine how others who are less accepting are going to react to that and I think people have got a right to react to her. One of her followers, I don't know if they have followers but I assume they were because they um, wrote um, underneath a post that I had commented on someone's video that we don't have to watch if we don't like what she's doing. Yes, yeah, she likes talking about poop. Just the other day, she was saying, I need to poo-poo in the bedroom. Um, what was she saying? Something about her nose. She needed to shave her nose. Do I have boogers? She goes, do I have boogers? And she was showing her nose and nostrils inside the camera. Then she was shoving her fingers as is usual for Chantel up her nose and um, she was even pulling that polysporin thing whatever it's called that medicine sticking her fingers right up her nose on camera why couldn't she do that off camera after she ate and then she was handling the treats of the cats with residue of medicine on her fingers she was handling the treats of both BBJ and Sam but also of uh timbered because she gave some to peach she put some in a bag and gave some to peach to take and she doesn't even consider for a moment that not only was her nose gross and she stuck her fingers up there but she was handling medication and she just has absolutely no sense of awareness or responsibility and then she goes what well, i don't get what i'm doing wrong and so her her uh, viewer or her supporter said you don't have to watch People don't have to watch if that kind of behavior puts them off. Well, sure, people don't have to watch. But also, people don't have to stop commenting and making reaction videos. So if you're going to behave in a certain way that is very socially unacceptable for sound reasons, because imagine if everybody around us went around sticking their fingers up the nose and having poopy pants and they didn't wash themselves and they stank and they bathed and, and farted in public and did all sorts of things and had their breasts exposed, there would be absolutely no world for children to grow up with no standards i don't know man i mean it's it's pretty logic that we need to have some kind of observations in place and if she's not gonna respect everybody around her or herself then people don't have to stop making videos and commenting about it nobody is obliged to stop just like she says and her followers say that she's not obliged to behave in a particular way and to stop making those videos then people are also not obliged to stop making reactions videos end of the subject so quit telling everyone that people are bullying yes there are people who take it to extremes yes they overreact over the slightest minutest detail but overall people have every right to address issues of Chantel's behavior especially when she's getting really grouchy and very nasty and telling people to f off 
just for voicing an opinion. You might just go in her chat room and say, Chantelle, you lied about this, you lied about that, and then she goes, F off, I'm going to block you. So basically, there is no freedom of speech. She goes, when people have addressed that to her, she says, yes, there's freedom of speech, as long as you're not being negative and hating. So basically, anything that raises your bad behavior is negative speech, and it's hateful speech. So in other words, we have to lie and caress your ego and like French fried girl said, pat you on the butt just so we won't be haters and negative speakers. I mean, what sort of comment is it when you say that if people are not giving me sexual services or paying my bills, then they have no right to be judging me? That is absolutely disgusting and gross. So people are not, I repeat, obliged to stop reacting negatively to that kind of foul mouth, disgusting behavior and attitude. She takes dirty talking to a whole new extreme. Like I said, I can cuss like a sailor. I've said it before and I'll say it again. But to go in front of a camera and to be expressing myself in the way that she does and not caring about who is watching or having any respect toward the way she represents herself that's just absolutely vulgar vile and unacceptable and it's not about pretending to be someone that you're not because i'm telling you i can cast like a sailor but i don't do it here right but i can still have the right to call her a bitch if I want to because that's how she behaves. She behaves like a real nasty bitch all the time. She's not bitchy sometimes, she's bitchy most of the time. The times that she's calmed down and nice and reasonable are very limited. The majority of the time she's snapping and carrying on and going, you know, no, and who are you to tell me and, 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 and sticking a middle finger up, honestly. And then the other day, um, sorry, I need to really point that out. The way that you come across, I've said it millions of times, really is influenced by your behavior. So even if you look like this guy here, and then you open your mouth to say the most vulgar and horrible things, and you treat everybody around you with utter disrespect, you're still going to come across as ugly. And this guy, I consider one of the best looking guys ever in the world honestly i would go as far as saying that so let alone chantelle who has got a few issues with her appearance at the moment because sometimes she does not attend to the way that she looks and she's got crusty eyes as she said it she comes online with um scabs near her eyes from an all night sleeping from not brushing her teeth from not fixing herself up fixing her hair from not wearing fresh clothes and really not looking at her best and she's also an obese lady how are we gonna feel about her if she's being mean and nasty because if you're a mean person it doesn't matter if you've won a beauty contest you're still gonna come across as ugly to the people yes your physique starts changing in the person's mind so even if you're stunning and you're behaving like a total witch people are gonna start seeing you in a very um, ugly way. Your features are not as pretty anymore. They become harsher and they, they concentrate on your flaws. So, and you've got a lot of them, Chantelle, I'm sorry to say, but because you're not attending to your health and your hygiene issues, you've got a lot of problem areas with your appearance. So imagine how much worse you're going to come across to people than somebody like the guy I showed who is a model, right? And like I said, no awareness. She goes, I'm getting a two-piece bathing suit, a bikini, and I'm going to Jamaica. And I'm not body shaming. But me, the way that I am right now, serious, if I was to, to travel to Greece, because Greeks are very... I'm not saying everybody's in shape, but they're very disciplined and very, the way that they present their appearance to the world. Oh my gosh, people really pay a lot of focus in Greece and Lebanon and Italy. The people are so um, pedantic about the way that they look. So if you're overweight, if I was to go to Greece right now, the shape that I'm in, even wear a one-piece suit, 
people would be pointing at me and laughing. And I'm not saying it's right to put people down for their appearance. But, dude, Chantelle, you can't wear a bikini or a G-string and appear in public in that two-piece suit because you're trying to promote a healthy self-image. A healthy image is for women who've got a little bit of extra hips, who've got, you know, a heavier toward the bottom or vice versa, and they're celebrating and embracing the body shape for what it is. But when you are not disciplined enough to look after your health at your optimum level and be your best self, and then you're presenting yourself naked to the world, then I'm sorry, but the world doesn't have to put up with that kind of imagery because they don't want to be traumatized believe me if i was to go out in public the way that i am now with a bikini and uh, or a g-string at the beach people don't have to see my extra rolls and my extra luggage around my spare tire around my tummy and my arms which i feel are flabbier than usual because i've put on a lot of weight in the year uh, in covid lockdown and also away from work dude come on you have some self-awareness and some respect. Who? I mean, oh my gosh, you know how I said all ages should be allowed to do what they want? Again, within logic and ethics, you can wear whatever colors you want, whatever makeup you want. But an older person who's like 86 and has got very saggy skin, wearing a G-string and going to the beach, that's no respect for themselves and others. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be discriminatory or double standards and say there shouldn't be bullying and then you have to cover up anyway. But there is a difference between body shaming or bullying someone even for obesity and a different thing altogether, putting on a G-string and a tiny little boob tube and going and parking yourself on the sand and thinking that your whole property and all the men are going to be all over you. I would be ashamed the way that I'm at now to flaunt myself as somebody super sexy and um i'm not saying i don't deserve to be loved i know that i'm an okay and decent human being i'm not saying chantelle doesn't deserve to be loved yes she's got flaws but she's got a good points too and if she focuses on them totally she deserves to be loved totally she deserves a better life but unless we both address our issues and lose certain amounts of weight her more than me we can't just expect to say oh i'm a i'm a post girl i'm a bikini girl i'm so hot guys drool all over me and when i go to the bahamas for my holiday all the guys are going to be all over me and i can't wait which she adapts that attitude a lot and that's very obnoxious because even if you look as hot as the guy whose photo i inserted because i totally think he's hot and you behaved in that manner you would be putting everyone off let alone if you've got a lot of extra kilos to take care of look i've gone on let me see guys because i've got some more comments that i didn't want to leave unspoken about Oh, one thing that really, really struck me as really disturbing is in her, was it with her yellow dress um, stream that she was referring to her time with Bibi about how she doesn't iron her clothes, but Bibi used to iron his clothes all the time because he wanted to look appropriate and immaculate. And she used to get totally pissed with him because she wanted him to pay attention to her instead of iron. I don't know if you guys caught that, but she, yeah, she said that, oh, yeah, I used to get so upset with him because it was like, pay attention to me, don't iron. What? That shows a very troubled psyche indeed, as we know that she's already very needy. Yep, other things that caught my um, attention and were very alarming for me is that she called Sam out of the blue a stupid a-hole and she said, oh, I shouldn't be swearing, I'm so sorry, but he's so cute that I feel like swearing. How does that make sense? And that's where I think that this woman has got her standards confused. She thinks swearing goes hand in hand with someone being cute. I mean, can you imagine her calling her grandma and then when she's about to hang up, she goes, see you later, a hole. Oh, don't worry. I just meant it in a cute way. Is that what you do, Chantel? 
I don't think so. All of a sudden it becomes inappropriate, doesn't it? She thinks swearing goes with having sex with someone because, like I said, she addressed that some men like to abuse women verbally when they're having intercourse with them and, of course, they don't mean anything bad by it. Not that I've experienced it, then she was trying to cover it. And, of course, it became apparent that it was Dom who had done it to her. And the irony in the whole thing is that she makes fun of other people's viewers and um, her own viewers then go ahead and make fun of other viewers. And then she's saying they're not bullying or they're not being mean. That She was saying something that they're illiterate because they misspell and what they write is nonsensical. Obviously, Chantelle, because your viewers have all been to Harvard and obtained a PhD in astrophysics, especially when that Esme lady said, I've got two daughters and I hate the guards or I can't stand them or something like that. What sort of profoundness, intelligence and decency would a person have to even joke like that about their own kids and to even joke and call BBJ, who's an elderly lady, a bitch like Chantel did in a recent stream. Again, she's done that repeatedly in recent streams. And then she turns around and says uh, she freaked out at a lady because... Um, I don't know, Chantelle was going on about how she's going to block everyone and they can't even say cheeseburgers, they can't even say this. And then the lady said, wow. And she goes, wow, what? And she cracked at the lady. She freaked at the lady because the lady simply said, wow. She expressed herself. So apparently you're not even allowed to say wow on her channel, on her chats, on her live streams. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that because I honestly have dragged on and I've tried to put everything and pack it in the one video. I like to be fair and reasonable. And as I said, a lot of the behaviors of certain people who dislike Chantel have taken it too far by doxing information about people in her life, by uh, contacting Dom, contacting her property management, uh, really carrying on in ways that are very unethical and then they blame Chantel for being unethical herself so it goes both ways Chantel does that too she blames other people for being totally morally not right and then she carries on with morally incorrect behaviors so I'm not trying to say that I'm perfect but as an observer as a viewer these are the things that I have to bring to the forefront and I'm sorry Chantel but you need to address a lot of crap in your life and if you can't see what is wrong in your behavior because I certainly see what I have done wrong in my past and what I continue to do wrong because sometimes I too am abrupt or a bit rude or snappy but I will never do what you do Chantel at least not to that degree I don't know. I'm not saying that I haven't done things that I'm ashamed of in my life. Before I go, just a quick message for Chantelle because it involves her cats and their innocent bystanders in all her behaviours. So they don't deserve to die from poisoning. Please, after you handle medication, creams, polysporin, whatever else ointment you're using and you put it on your skin up your nose wash your hands because the residue you've got left on your fingers and then you pick out the treats of the animals could totally make them die and also don't leave your chocolates cookies and drugs lying around even for a moment on the counter because if you forget under a high and the cats come and lick the chocolate they will die from the cannabis content finally when you're picking your teeth after you've chomped on mushrooms please wash your hands your fingers because again the residue that's left on your hands if you pat your animals with or if you handle their food and give it to them they will end up being poisoned and dying and that's just completely unfair because of your practices that innocent animals just lose their lives in a painful way i'll leave it at that guys and we'll talk soon again in the next episode no matter what subject this is going to be about take care you just see Jane? As for the reactions watching me right now. <laughs> and all the haters.